High clearance is good, at least all terrains and my terrains will be fine. There are a couple of creek crossings here to be mindful of. We did air down our tires to no less than 20 to help with the ride. This is a very beautiful trail. It takes us up um, just a little bit under 10,000 feet of elevation. There are a few sections um, such as this here where we did find it a little bit technical. If you hug the driver's side left, then you can pretty much avoid the right yeah. section that runs down the middle and the right. Just take it nice and slow. And you'll find a really pretty view here. You drive right in between some trees. You guys good? Yeah, all right. Once you get to the lake, you're gonna find that there's a nice creek crossing. Now this is optional if you decide to go on the uh, other side of the lake if you wanna camp there. We found it to be just a, a little bit around eight to 10 inches deep. Base camp here right along the lake. Our group had um, multiple uh, participants, so we did spread out. So we did have some people that got lakeside camp spots, and they were very beautiful spots. the lake as our base camp for the first night um, since most, most of us were driving a few hours to get ready for this camp trip. You can fish at the lake. You can see Brent here had a really good catch and caught several brook trout. Very pretty colors. Good job Brent. Alright we're now heading back down Levitt Lake Road and continuing on our journey we're going to be heading over to Bridgeport and we are going to fuel up and continue with the adventure. As we're going down the trail we found that they're going going up is a little bit different than going down so you know just take your time here. Try to pick a good line
our group had a pretty good um, time going down this trail. No one had any major issues going down. Basically took the same way down that we took coming up. Some of the vehicles that were in this group uh, were lightly modified, you know, some had 33 inch tires, but just about everyone was able to make it through just fine. Uh, we're actually starting to leave Levitt Lake through the Levitt Lake Road, Forest Service Road, and uh, we have 13 vehicles with us right now. CJ stayed back at camp because it's just, uh, it's amazing, you know, over there. It, it was a little bit busy because it was Labor Day. Uh, things did work out though. Um, so now, uh, continuing with the rest of the adventure slash tour, we're going to be heading into the Bridgeport area and then we're going to uh, traverse into the Masonic um, mining area, the Masonic mining road. We're going to hit the Shimung mine. Uh, we're going to hit um, the Masonic mine area and then we're going to head into Bodhi and take a break over there. And once we're done there, then we're going to go ahead and head towards the Kavanaugh Wilderness, Kavanaugh Ridge, and uh, explore that area, take a look over the ridge, and set up camp. All right, so um, thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying. We we're at the Shemang Mine, and what you're seeing is uh, some of the remnant structures. There's actually still a lot of, you could see some of that, uh, the milling material, the milling equipment. Uh, there used to be one that ran, ran down here. I wonder if you could see that. I want to, not really sure how strong that is, but won't spend too much time on it. But the more that you look at it, you can see materials that were coming through this press and it just ran down the hill and it just kept going down. Um, so a lot of, uh, a lot of history here. It's really cool. This is one of the mills that fed Bodhi from what I understand. Uh, just wasn't as profitable as the town because you had to transport materials back and forth. Uh, I'll show you some of the other structures here. Um, I did show you the um, the mine that was all shored up. And then this is probably the lower section of the, the mill house. Uh, definitely recommend if you are really into this, um, these types of activities, you want to explore, you want to look at old... Um, uh, gold mines, ghost towns. Definitely check out the ghosts, the, uh, the the gold rush tour. I'll be doing another one coming soon. So uh, we have a pretty good group. I think we started with around 15 ish. You know, a couple of them stayed at Levitt Lake, and the rest of us are continuing on with this part of the tour. So our next stop, we're at Shemung. Our next stop is either going to be over at the Masonic Mining Camp, or we may just go to Bodie, depending on how the conditions are. Took a new color, you covered the portrait underneath 
learning to hit fashion it Every breaststroke getting bolder Brand new me, hardly know her We were